Good morning, 47. Your destination is the Himapan Luxury Hotel Resort on the Chao Phraya River, just outside Bangkok. Your main target is Jordan Cross, the lead singer of The Class, a renowned indie rock outfit recording their highly anticipated sophomore album. But this millennial poster boy harbors a dark secret. One year ago, promising young actress Hannah Highmore fell to her death from Cross's penthouse loft in Dumbo, New York. According to the police, Miss Highmore's death was a tragic accident, but her parents remain unconvinced. They firmly believe that Cross murdered Hannah and only escaped justice due to the power and influence of his father, billionaire media mogul Thomas Cross. A secondary target, Ken Morgan, corporate fixer and attorney to the Cross family, is also staying at the hotel. Cunning and unscrupulous, Morgan was a key agent in the cover-up of Hannah Highmore's murder and Jordan Cross's subsequent acquittal. The Highmores understandably want retribution, and while the system may be powerless, ICA is anything but. I will leave you to prepare. Welcome to Bangkok, 47. Ken Morgan has booked the Queen Suite, but is yet to check in. You will find him in and around the restaurant. Oddly enough, Jordan Cross seems completely unaware of his presence. Cross and the class have set up a recording studio in the Emperor's Suite on the third floor. Private security around Cross and his entourage is highly capable. Still, I am sure you can find your way into his inner circle. After all, today is Jordan Cross's 27th birthday. The age when rock stars die. Good luck, 47. Checking in. Name's Tobias Reaper. Thank you so much, sir. Here's your key card. Welcome to the Himapan Hotel. Welcome to the Himapan Hotel. Please follow me. I hope you'll enjoy your stay. Ken Morgan again. Any messages? Um... No, Mr. Morgan. Uh, no messages. This doesn't bode well. When can I have my suite? Housekeeping is just adding the finishing touches. It won't be long now, sir.
look, you want me to deliver it? Deliver what, mate? The letter, Neil. The one Dexy Barrett told you to take down to reception three hours ago? Oh, right. <laughs> no, I'm just comatose today. No, no, I'm good, thanks. I'll pop down in a moment. Yeah, so you keep saying. What do you care? Dexy Barrett is Jordan's manager. She's not the boss of us. Who's an old four, anyway? She didn't say. But he's staying at the Queen Suite, so I figure he's someone important. All the more reason to deliver his letter. I will. In. A. Minute. So, Dexy Barrett sends a message to the occupant of the Queen Suite, a.k.a. Ken Morgan. This must be the reason for Morgan's surprise visit. Sounds promising. Clearly, Barrett doesn't want her client Jordan Cross to know about Morgan's presence, so whatever business the two have, they're likely to do it in secret. I suggest you intercept that message, 47. Could be a chance to catch Morgan off guard. Man, I wish she was my manager. Dixie, managing your shitty band. <laughs> nah, Dexy Barrett doesn't waste time on amateurs. She's a kingmaker, that one. Only works with the best. Well, I mean, she's been with Jordan in the class since the beginning. That's different. Few upcoming artists can afford to hire a superstar manager. Least of all, full time. Jordan can. He could have bought up monumental records without making a dent in his trust fund. Yeah, except he did it. No, that's right. Hiring Dexy Barrett is the only privileged thing he did. He wanted to prove himself. Do it right and true. You gotta respect that. Yeah, yeah. Still want to punch him, though. Seriously? Why? Jordan's amazing. He's cool, good-looking, and let's not forget, he's a kick-ass artist. Yeah, you know, I think you just answered your own question. Let me tell you the rest of the story, because it's not until we upgraded the lion and stuff. dishes a person can stand. It just gets old real fast, right? Sure, sure you're going. Oh, another thing that brought me here is the sky. It's always so blue and clear. I mean, you love it to begin with, but, but then you start thinking, oh, wait a minute. I mean, is, is it like this day in, day out? Oh, you don't say.
Speaking of which, when I came, everything was so rich and exotic, and Hi. now I'm bored. Mr. Cross, I have arrived. Damp, bright, French colonial, the river smells of fish. No, truly, of fish. I look forward to leaving. So, your son's manager, this Dexy Barrett. Anything I should know? Not a problem. I know the type. No, no, we'll meet on the QT. We don't want Jordan to know I'm here. He might throw a fit and sway Miss Barrett from doing the smart thing. You think nothing of it. Some things need to be handled in person. It is only the semi-finals, after all. I will call you from the airport. Well, I didn't see it. No, and I... You know, I've been watching... Only the semi-finals. But all you waiters around here, both I like what I'm seeing. So, what are we really doing here, sir? If you don't mind me asking. Not at all. Snooping is man's defining trait. You see, Otis, the bulk of my work takes place behind the scenes. I'm a fixer. Only occasionally. The court is like war. You only go if diplomacy fails. You're here on Thomas Cross's behalf, aren't you? That's why you don't want his son to know we're here? Bingo. Young Master Cross is the proverbial thorn in his father's eye. Not to mention a royal screw-up. Tossing his girlfriend off a roof. Really. You can't trust a man who's unable to control his emotions. Hmm. It's undignified, sir. Anyway, that is what we're here for. Leverage. My client wants to tighten his son's leash, and Dexy Barrett has just the thing we need. It's called due diligence. I get it. But if Jordan goes down, doesn't everyone who helped him escape justice go down with him? Including you and his dad? Not necessarily. We would claim good faith and let Dexy Barrett take the fall. We have spun good stories. And bad publicity is good for the ratings. Hmm. Well, I'm glad I'm not a lawyer, sir. I don't think my conscience could take it. I envy you for it. Touche. I think we lost something in our own little rat race that you can't put your finger oh, on. This but looks you suddenly feel it so interesting. Catfish minced with shallots, chilies, and Thai basil served Sorry, with grilled salted beef and anyway, vegetables. Mm. There's so much well to do done. I feel like giving up my job and moving here. I mean, sure, I make a lot of money, but at the end of the day, how important is money after all? You know that feeling? Oh, good. Ken Morgan. Any messages for me? Let me check. Um, yes, Mr. Morgan. A letter was only just delivered. Here you are, sir. Oh, finally. And thank you for choosing the Hippocamp. Enjoy your stay. Thank you. The service here is really something special. I'll enjoy your stay here. Basement linen room. Call me when you get there. Dexy Barrett. Well done, 47. Morgan is on the move, and we know exactly where he is headed. Barrett finally gave word. We're meeting at the linen room. Hmm. Welcome to the exciting world of corporate underhand dealings.
Hey there. Ken Morgan, I'm at the linen room, as requested. What do you mean? That was three hours ago. The receptionist said the note only just arrived. Never mind. I'm here now. Just bring me the flash drive, Miss Barrett, and I promise I will be out of your way. Both targets down. Now head towards an exit.